Are you looking for an awesome way to make your own liquid and magic white out there? Well, you're in store because I'm going to show you how to make your own liquid and magic white that's going to be more affordable for all you painters out there. And for an added bonus, it's going to be water soluble, which is going to make it safer, easier to clean and non-toxic. So let's dive right into it. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you to help you out with your creative adventures. And if this is your first time here and you wanna become bigger and better with all of your creative needs, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, really quick, if you like any of the products that I'm using in this video or any of my videos, I did you all a favor, I put links in the show notes below so that way it's really easy for you to get the supplies so that way you can make your own magic white. Let's now get into the video. If you're not familiar with Magic White, it is the base medium that you put down on your painting that allows you to easily blend and move your colors around. But sadly, depending on where you are, this little product can be very hard to find. So making your own liquid and Magic White is gonna be very important for you. To make our awesome, affordable, and safe liquid and magic white, we're gonna need a little bit of supplies. We're gonna need some titanium white paint that is water soluble. Windsor Newton makes an awesome one, but you can use any brand. Just make sure you double check that it says water soluble on the label, because sometimes these will be mixed in with normal paints. Next, we're gonna need a medium that we can mix in with our paint to make it nice and creamy. At the moment, I have found two mediums that work really well. There is a linseed oil that is water soluble that works really well, and a safflower oil that is water soluble that also works really well. Again, links in the description below depending on which one you want. Once you have all your painting materials and mediums, we need a nice smooth surface to mix them on with your palette knife or spatula. I really recommend for this glass because it works really awesome. Get some tempered glass easily found at your local hardware store. But one thing you probably always have lying around is your mixing palette, which I will show in this demonstration here. If you have none of those, a really cool hack you can do is if you buy any type of pack of canvases online or from a store like let's say Michael, they usually come with a nice little acrylic sheet right on front for protection. So you can just put this down on any table here and it'll be non-porous and you can use your mixing paints and your oil here and make some awesome liquid white. Now every paint and painter has their own style and flair of how they would like their magic white. Generally, you want it to have a nice little creamy texture that holds little soft peaks when you whip it up. But you can make your magic white as firm or as creamy soft as you like. I like mine with a little bit of an egg white meringue tip to it because I can always thin it down at a later point if I need to. Mixing the paint is best suited at a 50-50 ratio as you begin. Now, if you wanna get really technical, you can weigh out your paints and your oil if you want, but just eyeballing it will be fine as well. Slowly introduce the oil into the paint as you mix it all the way around and add a little whip to it every now and then to see how strong the peaks hold. Once you get the consistency at what you like, you need to find a place to store it. Now there's a few different places I suggest. You can go get yourself a nice little small paint tin can from your local hardware store that you can put in so that way it's an airtight seal. There's also some awesome little tin cans that you can buy off Amazon. Just make sure you put a little bit of wax paper and saran wrap it if you don't plan on painting for quite some time so this way it keeps the air out. And when you're ready to use it, you just give it a good old shake within the cans there and they're good because that way they will get all the separation to be mixed back in. Or you can put them in with actual painting tubes. However, it is a shit show and a half trying to get the paint in, unless you get the big tubes, which I recommend, because the paint will just splash and splooge all over your hands. Try explaining that to your mother there. So the tubes work great, they're just a really big mess, which is why I recommend the cans, because they're easily accessible for dipping in a one and a two inch brush. Within just a few moments, you have the perfect magic and liquid white that you can use for a whole host of different styles of Bob Ross and Bill Alexander paintings. And the best part about this, it's not as toxic as the regular liquid white and magic white out there, plus it's water soluble, which makes it very easy to clean up. And there's gonna be less or no vapor within your house due to not having thinners or odorless thinners or any type of like terpenoid out there. So this is a really big thing. If you're a studio painter or a small room painter, you won't be breathing in all of that extra chemical if you don't have good ventilation, which this is why this is OP 
for a lot of you painters out there just starting. Now, if you're not sure the proper way to apply magic white to your canvas, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna show you the proper technique and give you a few little tips, tricks, and even a hack to make sure you apply it perfectly every time so that way you get the perfect painting at the end of the day. Once again, my name is Wild and I will see you all in my next painting video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace.